So when the line is zero degrees, and when we're talking about degrees, we're talking about degrees from this axis. If I was to draw a line that was going up zero degrees, it would be flat like that, yeah? yeah. So that would be like my zero degrees line. Yeah. What's the slope of that line? Yeah. Zero. zero. Okay, so you can go ahead on page three on your table, you can add that in. Zero degrees, we know your slope is zero. So the next thing we want to do is we want to look at the next guy is 15 degrees. So if you look at this circle, it kind of looks like there's a ruler around the edge. Uh, and if you look, remember, so in how many degrees are in a corner of a circle? 90. 90. So if you look at this little ruler, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Each of these little marks is actually worth one degree. Those are one degree. Wait, the, the really little ones? Are... Each of the really little ones are worth one degree. So what I'd like you to do is mark 15 degrees. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You're just going to put a little dot. And you're going to put the dot on the circle, not on like the line, but on the circle for 15 degrees. So we all mark 15 degrees? Yes. Yeah? yeah? Flip over the other side, it works okay. So what you're going to do now with your straight edge, you must use a ruler or straight edge for this. You're going to go from the center, and you're going to, you can start at the origin, and then you're just going to go out along that 15 degrees, and go all the way past the circle, all the way towards the edge. Okay? So our question is, what is the slope of this line? Now in order to do that, we need to figure out rise over run, right? Do you see a triangle that we could use for our slope triangle for our rise over run? Yeah, yeah right. The here is the bottom of the triangle, and then it goes up here. Oh. That's the triangle we're going to use, this guy here. So we need to count what's our rise. And we're going to use this ruler on the side here. Oh. So let's see, so that's 5, 10, 15, 20. 25. Looks like right here, I am. Mine landed at 27. Yours may be slightly different, but that's okay. So mine landed at 27. And can you guys count? What's the run here? How much is our run? These are 30. Mine is 100. It's 100. Okay. All right. So we have 100. So the slope of our 15 degrees is 27. The rise is 27. The run is 100. So we're going to go put that on our smart, on our paper. We're going to put it two ways. One, do write the fraction, 27 over 100. <coughs> then also give me the decimal. So what's that 27 divided by 100? What do I get? 0.27. 0.27. 27. 27. So that is the slope of When the line is 15 degrees, its slope is 0.27. Okay? So you guys can keep going. If you're feeling stuck on how to do the next one, I'm going to do 30 degrees over here. But if you're feeling okay to go, you can just go. All right, 30. 30. So many. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So here is my 30 degrees. Look. I'm going to go from the center to here. And then my rise now. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 30, 30, 30. 6, As we get farther, I'm going to guess mine's 58. Somewhere around there. If it's 57, 59, 56, 55. Is that region? Yeah. Is it where it hits the line? Yeah. Yes, it's where it hits the line. Okay. Yeah, this is our line. This is our line. So it'll be always be 100 on the line. For a while, yeah. What happens at 60 degrees? The angle is too much. At 60 degrees, we get too big, right? So there's 30, 40, 50. Well, couldn't you just keep going? 60. Uh, rather than try to, like, design a new ruler, we actually have a thing. So here's my 60 degrees. I draw it. It's actually just as easy. So instead of doing my slope triangle here on the bottom, our slope triangle is now here on the side. So... How much do I rise? 100. 100. And how much do I run? Uh, too much. 
Oh. So I rise 100 and I run. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, looks like 58. But how can that be the same? So for 60, 60 degrees, what's my rise? It's 100 over 58. It's 100 over 58. The rise is now 100, and the run is 58. What is that? What's that decimal? That, you got to do it in the calculator.